Once upon a time, I launched Tekken 7 and decided I would play some matches online. I quickly selected my character and went straight into matchmaking. An opponent was found relatively fast and I proceeded to begin the match with them. A few blows were exchanged here and there, maybe even a combo or two. We make it to the final round and all of a sudden, I can't control my character! I'm in some form of cutscene of a character that has more animations and is moveless than some fighting games have in total across their cast. I sat there, not knowing what to do, mashing my buttons like a wild baboon screaming for mercy from the attack of a large predatory beast. And just like that, the round was over. Only then did I come to a realization that I was the beast. I was the cutscene creator. I was the Grappling King! If you've ever faced King in Tekken, you've probably seen a chain throw. Each throw will link into the next to continue the chain, and the only way out is to break them. This suit is going to put you through the blender, and you need to know how to get out. Let's enter the world of breaking chain throws! To get things rolling, we're going to start with King's Crouch Dash throws. These throws are always performed out of a crouch dash, and they have two different breaks. Standing heel hold will be a two break, or right punch input, and arm breaker will be a one break, or left punch input. As you can see, they look identical. So breaking this one is all about prediction. Press one or two, but make sure you don't press both of them at the same time, otherwise it might register as a one plus two. If you have a hard read on this throw, remember you can choose to duck to avoid the chain throw starter since it's a high, and launch king instead. This will be the best outcome for you in this situation. Crouching against the majority of throws will be their biggest counter. Don't always crouch though, or king will start destroying you with his mids. Think of throws as if king was doing a low attack. He wants you to crouch so that he can launch you with a mid. Let's continue with breaking out of the chain throw itself. We'll start with the two break option, standing heel hold. Be sure to memorize the animations the best you can. In standing heel hold, King will grab and drag you by the ankle before proceeding to the next throw in the chain. During this animation, you have three throw break options you can press to try to prevent the next throw. You can press 1 to avoid STF, which is a 60 damage throw. You can press 2 to avoid Scorpion Deathlock, which deals 65 damage. And you can press both punch buttons at the same time, 1 plus 2, to avoid Indian Deathlock. If you fail to break Indian Deathlock, this throw is the only one out of the three that will continue into another throw. It leads into King's Bridge, dealing 95 damage in total. King's Bridge is actually an unbreakable throw, so this damage is guaranteed. You'll have to input your throw break option before King gets to damage your leg. If you guess the correct break, he'll let you go after the damage to your leg is done. This chain series is a true mix-up and you'll have to take your guesses on the break. The other crouch dash throw will be arm breaker. This is a one break. The animation for this throw will have King grabbing your arm and pulling it over his shoulder to damage it. For this chain throw, you'll have three throw break options you can press to try to prevent the next throw in the chain. Pressing your one break will help prevent triple arm breaker, which deals 50 damage. Pressing two will help prevent head jammer. Head jammer has a guaranteed follow up called the struggle combination, which is unbreakable. If you failed to break head jammer, this extra damage is guaranteed totaling 65 damage. Pressing your one plus two break will help you avoid chicken wing face lock. If you're hit by chicken wing face lock, this throw will continue into another chain throw. From here, you get two break options. You can press one break to prevent dragon sleeper finish, which deals 70 damage. Or you can press two break to prevent the infamous rolling death cradle, also known as RDC. This is one of the most damaging throws in the game coming in at 110 damage. So starting with the first three break options, you'll have to time your break as King is about to damage your arm. If you guess correctly, he'll let you go after dealing damage to the arm. If you fail to break out and you get put into the chicken wing face lock, 
Start pressing your one or two break option right as King is about to damage your neck. This next series of throws can be a bit confusing. We have the reverse arm slam chain throw and the reverse special stretch bomb chain throw. The beginning of the grab itself will look identical until the animation starts. Normally, reverse arm slam is broken with the one input and reverse special stretch bomb will be broken with the two input. Let's cover reverse arm slam first I have some special things to mention later about the reverse special stretch bomb. So reverse arm slam is always going to be a one break. This throw has a specific weakness that you should know about. The second part of this throw is always going to be a one break as well. And apart from the start, the animation will be different than its counterpart, the reverse special stretch bomb. The arm slam throw leads into backdrop, which is a one break. If you miss this key opportunity, you'll be placed into a 50-50 chain throw mix-up. Always look to see if King grabs one of your arms and flips you over his shoulder to the other side. If you see this animation, start mashing your one break to prevent the rest of this chain from even happening. If you were unable to get out of backdrop, you now have to guess between a one or two break to avoid the incoming throws. Be sure to input your throw break options as the suplex animation of backdrop is finishing. Once you've received the damage from backdrop and the next animation has started, you've missed the throw break window for the next throw. And the next throws in the chain will be the following. German suplex will be a one break and cannonball buster will be a two break. If German suplex lands, it'll lead to a power bomb, which is an unbreakable part of the chain. However, if King uses power bomb after cannonball buster, it can be broken with a one break. The other option King has from cannonball buster will be Manhattan drop, which is a two break. King cannot perform Manhattan drop after a German suplex, so you don't have to worry about that. At this point, we've either been hit by a power bomb or a Manhattan drop. If you're hit by a Manhattan drop, you'll take a guaranteed throw named Victory Bomb. If you were hit by a power bomb or Victory Bomb, they'll lead into a giant swing, which is broken by the one input, or a muscle buster, which is broken by the two input. Giant Swing will deal either 99 or 110 damage, extra damage adding up to a total of 116 if you're thrown into the wall. Muscle Buster will deal either 104 or 115 damage and provide the King player with a back turn mix up. Now let's discuss the other throw variant known as Reverse Special Stretch Bomb. This throw is normally a two break as you would expect but its break can change depending on how it's performed. If the King player uses a variation that will grab a crouching opponent, it can be either a one break or a two break. This chain throw can also be done by a sidestep variation. If King performs this throw during a sidestep, the breaks will change. If he grabs you from the left side, it'll be a one break. If he grabs you from the right side or the front, there'll be a two break. The throw animation will have King grab your upper body and slam you head first over to the other side. The first follow up to this chain throw is Cannonball Buster and it's unbreakable. The animation will look as if King scoops your character up and slams him head first a second time. So time your breaks before you get slammed a second time to try to prevent the next chain throw. After Cannonball Buster, you'll be left with two options. You can use a one break to prevent a power bomb, and you can use a two break to prevent a Manhattan drop. If you're hit by the Manhattan drop, it'll lead to a guaranteed unbreakable throw called Victory Bomb. From this point, King can use Giant Swing or a Muscle Buster as a follow up to any of the bombs to end the chain throw. To break Giant Swing, press one. 
If you're hit by the giant swing, the damage will come out to 87 or 98, and extra damage will be added making it 104 total damage if you're thrown into a wall. To break Muscle Buster, press 2. If you fail to break Muscle Buster, you'll take either 92 or 103 damage, and King gets a back turn mix up. The final and most terrifying chain throw of all starts with Cobra Clutch. King can only perform Cobra Clutch out of a Jaguar step. He'll try to mix you up typically with a mid chop that will allow him to use a crouch grab so that you'll be more willing to stay standing for the Cobra Clutch. Cobra Clutch is a grab mix up and the animations for the one break or two break will look identical. This chain throw has loads of options, so we'll start with the shorter ones first in Mexican Magma Drive 1. You'll identify the Cobra Clutch animation by King moving to your backside and attempting to damage your neck. As the throw is finishing and before the damage is dealt, start inputting your throw break options 1 or 2, but not both together. Pressing 1 will prevent a flinging half Nelson, which deals 45 total damage and ends the chain. Pressing 2 will prevent Sleeper, which will lead into another throw in the chain. The Sleeper animation has King jumping onto your backside and bringing you down onto the floor with him. You'll need to press your break options as this animation is finishing to prevent the rest. Out of Sleeper, King can follow up with the Triple Trouble or Human Necktie. Triple Trouble is a one break that can deal 55 total damage. Human Necktie is a 2 break that can deal 58 total damage. Both of these throws mark the end of the chain throw. Now we move on to the longer option after Cobra Clutch, known as Mexican Magma Drive 2. After being hit by Cobra Clutch, King can follow up with Cobra Twist. This throw is unbreakable and will kind of look like King is trying to twist your torso from behind. Once you see King stay behind you and start turning you into a human pretzel, start choosing your break option before the damage is finished. The next throw will be Reverse DDT, and it is a true throw mix-up. You can break it with either one or two, and it'll all depend on what the King player chose for their inputs. If the King player is mashing all four inputs throughout this chain throw sequence, they'll all be one breaks unless they change some inputs. Otherwise, we're going to go through this as if they were inputting each throw. To time your next break during Reverse DDT, Press your break before King finishes slamming you onto the ground after Cobra Twist. You're going to have three break options here, and they're the following. Samurai Rock will be a 1 plus 2 break, totaling 69 damage and ending the chain throw. Reverse Special Stretch Bomb will either be a 1 or 2 break depending on King's inputs. But this chain throw is only halfway through. You'll now be hit by a backdrop or a cannonball buster. You may remember them from earlier in the video. On King's move list, it won't display that he has the option to use Cannonball Buster, but he does. And that includes the follow-ups from it as well. And to make matters worse, both of these throws are unbreakable in this scenario. The same timing for the next break will happen with these. We'll start with Backdrop first. So before the Backdrop damage is finished, you have to input your break. Your options will be a 1 plus 2 break to prevent Soul Naciente, which totals 103 damage and ends the chain throw. Or, you'll have to press either 1 or 2, depending on the King player's inputs, to prevent Burning Hammer. This throw will continue to chain throw to its grand finale. Start preparing your next throw break while King has you on your side on top of his shoulders. Be sure to mash the option you choose. From the backdrop chain throw, Screwdriver will be the cherry on top. This throw will either be a 1 or 2 break depending on the King player's inputs and cause a devastating 126 total damage. This throw might as well come with a tombstone to mark your death. If King chose to run you through the Cannonball Buster options, here we go. After Cannonball Buster, you can press 1 to prevent a Power Bomb, or 2 to prevent a Manhattan Drop. And just like before, the Manhattan Drop leads into Victory Bomb as guaranteed damage. 
Once you've been hit by one of the bombs, the next and final throw will either be a giant swing or a muscle buster. Giant swing will be a one break, totaling 110 or 121 damage. And extra damage added totaling 131 total damage if you're thrown into a wall. Muscle buster will be the two break, and it'll come out to a total of 115 or 126 damage. Just like before, Muscle Buster offers King a back turn mix up to help him kill you off if you survive. Remember that the timing to break the follow up throws will be right as you take the damage of the throw you're on. I usually mash my break right before I take the damage from the throw I'm in. Well my friends, that about covers King's Chain Throws. I hope this video helped you in some form. Dealing with King's Chain Throws is really tricky and basically an exam in itself. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and share it with any of your friends who may be struggling against King. If you enjoy this type of content and wish to see more Tekken content and other fighting game videos, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for your support and good luck on your training.